What's up, visionaries? Welcome back to the Arc Fusion Fan Jam. My name's Anton. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a fantastic day because today's request, supporter squad song quest, comes from Russ. And this is REM Losing My Religion. I did look up the lyrics. Very interesting. We'll talk about them after. But before we get into this one, I do want to say you guys rock. Thank you for all the love. Also, if you guys want to support the channel at the same time, request songs, albums, and get exclusive access to uncut full album reactions. Definitely join everyone in the Sports Squad family over on the Patreon for the price of a large pizza. And that is what funds the entire channel. And I forgot to mention, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you get too. But anyway, if you want to check that out and do that, cool. And of course, uh, shout out to my supporters. I love you guys. I love everybody, but I really love you guys. And that's it. So super lastly, uh, if you guys want to hang out with myself, DM me, whatever, and hang out with the entire Archivision community. We're on Discord. Find us there. Link down below. It is for free to anyone who doesn't know. Um, also links down below to official merch and to my podcast, if interested. And that's it. So let's get an REM Losing My Religion. Let's see if the video matches the lyrics. Because like I said, I looked them up. On Genius. And the meaning of the song. That's really cool. Cool guitar. Interesting lead there, melody. Oh, life is bigger. It's bigger. Cool song instrumentally. There's a lot going on. That was just a dream. That was just a dream. That's me in the corner. That's me. So many layers. Life losing my religion. Or maybe it's just the production.
just a dream, dream. Man, that was an awesome song. And um, yes, of course, you know, I've heard that song before. I've never like listened to it on my own time. And I've actually never sat like, like, I just know the chorus. I, I barely know any other part of it. But um, it's interesting. Like, I like there's so many parts that I just never like picked up in passing when I heard about it. Like, it, it never even occurred to me all the layers. Of the I never even knew there was any like guitar in that song. Um. And then when I looked at the lyrics, um, I, I, a few things about the song first. So first of all, interesting dancing, um, just because it, it felt like his version of self-expression. Like it wasn't like a Michael Jackson choreographed, fluid, effortless, like, but then it was very just like human. It was, it was a dance that kind of was referring to how he felt, which was the songs about him kind of crushing and having an obsession um, and a lot of doubt in his crush with somebody. So it's like, it's kind of this like, kind of this dance style that is like doubtful and kind of confined and a lot of like almost like, you know, the human tendency when we're uncomfortable is across our arms to protect our chest, right? And then so even like that, the dance incorporated like a lot of like self-defense mechanisms almost in it, which I find really interesting. And then secondly, the video, um, you have all these like almost like ancient symbolism and what I got from that is I don't know what that was going on, but one thing that comes to mind is maybe like just the idea of like obsession is as old as time. It's like is like we've always been obsessed with people and things, and you know people had crushes probably and obviously in like ancient Egypt and ancient Greece and we've always you know it's kind of like that song by Tal Bachman, um, "She's So High" that I talked about with that is like. Yeah, this is the most relatable thing to me because like this was me in high school like i was very lacking in confidence in high school i was very nervous and sure of myself very feminine very felt i felt weak i felt like i didn't belong anywhere and um yeah i'd have like you know crushes on girls and it was like man yeah trying trying to lay those hints and stuff you know what i mean and you know sometimes get like a lot of time not even getting rejected because i was too afraid of even putting myself out there like, it's almost like, how much can you put out? Well, even if they catch you and they, like, deny you, you can just play it off. Like, oh, I wasn't trying to do that. You know what I mean? So it's funny. I remember, um, I remember it wasn't up until, like, it was, it was up until, like, university that I, I couldn't even just say, you know, what I wanted. It was always hints and trying to see if they would pick up what I was putting down and stuff. And it's just interesting now because now I've become just like an incredibly straightforward shooter like almost to the detriment like i'll just tell people how i feel you know what i mean um yeah it's just it's like the complete opposite and then it was about like you know at one point it was like just so blunt you know what i mean because i was so tired of playing games that a strength came came in just expressing yourself as you do right just like just straight up honest and, and straightforward and then it kind of like took that back a bit <laughs> and still maintain the authenticity and the honesty but you know just because i think like when you're like we're always rebelling against ourselves like if you felt very lacking in self-expression um at one point in your life you're gonna you're gonna overcompensate and you're gonna be way too blunt um as a way of just because it's so new and you, you haven't found the balance in the middle um it's still uncomfortable you're still pushing, you know what I mean? Rather than holding back, you're pushing aggressively because you just, you're like, okay, I need to get this out of there and just say it. And then, like, after you get used to yourself a bit and you, you find just a, you know, is how I feel. Like, it's less forceful. It's less like, okay, I like you. Because I went through that phase where I was just like, I feel this way about you. You know what I mean? Like, cool either way. doesn't matter. But I need to get this out. And then, um, yeah, you kind of just calibrate. And then, you know, I think the, probably the best is... I don't even know what the best is. Probably friendship, just being friends first. Um, because 
at least there's a bedrock of there's a foundation to the relationship there's friendship there's you actually enjoy being around each other rather than going from crush to relationship because i've done that where then you you're like meeting each you're almost like interviewing each other through the relationship because it moves too fast um i've had that before too yeah obviously where it's just it just blew up it was like an inferno because it just moved way too fast i there was no trust there's no understanding of who we were it was just a cyclone you know what i mean but yeah just incredibly relatable song just yeah apparently it was like written um it's kind of like a hypothesis of uh meditation on the police um every breath you take which is another famous song um but yeah definitely really love this one but anyway what are your top three favorite rem songs let me know down below in the in the comment section wherever you are odyssey uh library or youtube or whatever um theta tv and um also uh yeah that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely I'd give it a like um, and comment something stupid or random if you want. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. That's why. Um, and that's it. So I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.